something to be said for being in a place where storms start. They really presents, you know, a totally new experience. freezing cold, middle of nowhere, you know, exotic in the exact opposite way of, you know, the endless summer that most surfers are trying to live. My favorite thing in the world is to get on an airplane and the ticket agent asked me, why are you going to Aleutian Islands? Why don't you go to Hawaii? Why don't you go to Mexico? Some people think we're crazy, you know, to go to these places with the chance of scoring waves so, so small. The reality of where we are right now is that this is a dangerous place. Boats go out and don't come back. <laughs> so what does that mean for surfers who go out? These are the trips I live for, and this is what I want to do. You know, it's not always just about the surf. Sometimes it's just about the adventure of what you're doing, and Alaska, it's always that. Part of the reason I love going to like harsher conditions is simply the idea of, you know, bringing together a crew that can support each other and, and that, you know, you can trust. When Alaska came on the table, it was like, wow, I want to go to places, especially through surfing, that I'd want to see without a surfboard. And Alaska is it. And the first question is, you can surf in Alaska? Surfing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where? We don't even know, really. And then the second thing was, well, I mean, if there's waves, is it even doable? I mean, that's like the end of the world to me. We're closer to Russia than we are to It'll be about a four hour flight, the weather is so-so. Um, but it won't be a problem for us getting in. Any planes that crash going out to the Lucians? Uh, nice yeah. <laughs> we, we actually had one a few years ago. So, um, anyway. So we made it to Dutch Harbor. Uh, trip's halfway over. We arrived with half the food that we need to survive for the next like uh, two weeks. They told us specifically, make sure you bring everything you can because there's no food on the island. So we're um, sorting out and uh, we're checking out Dutch Harbor right now. Basically what I'm realizing from the pilots who fly all of these islands, they never go to where we're going. So when asked like, hey, is there any chance that we could wait for the next flight? The guy's like this and laughed. He's like, there is no other flight. trips that I just like, it blows my mind that I'm actually here and getting to see what the Aleutian Islands has to offer because there's not many surfers that are coming out here to do this kind of thing. I come from Los Angeles, the concrete jungle. You can jump in your car and drive five minutes right up to the beach and check it with your warm coffee and your favorite music on. And this is adventurous surfing. You know, this is what surfing was 20, 30 years ago. You know, I, I don't know that side of surfing, so we're getting on those ATVs because there could be a wave that, you know, is something we've never seen before.
psyche on how good the waves were, and then we turned around and we're like, oh my god, what is that? You know, it's a huge snowy volcano with this jagged ridge next to it. And that's when it dawned on me where we actually were. Like, okay, this is Alaska. Oh,